First thing I started with was upgrading the lighting. The original was just a single bulb. A lot of old style places are like that. It's way too dark. So we got these LED T5 fixtures. They're 6500 Kelvin. And they came in a six pack and you can daisy chain them. Wired in a couple new boxes here at the end it's just for a cleaner look. I think they cost me about 65 bucks. Good lighting and a nice white wall color makes a big difference in a small space. Next up was to do some organizing. I got this shelf, it's a two foot by eight foot. And then I found some Rubbermaid bins that fit it really well. And a lot of it's just stuff that doesn't get used very often. The more things you can get off the ground, the better. In my opinion, it's a lot better of an option than uh, floor mounted shelving. A couple of hooks for the ladder, up another way. And the rest of the wall is just extra photos, trunk lid, just stuff I've uh, collected over the years. This space took a while to figure out. I knew I wanted to put my bike here, but I couldn't figure out what kind of rack to do. And then I found these ones. Uh, they fold up, they swivel, because I still need access to my furnace and everything in there. So if there's an emergency or need to get in there quick, my bike can just go and swivel out of the way and it's no problem. A lot of racks are no good for that. They take up too much room, but I found this was the best, best one I could find. Definitely not cheap for a bike rack, but they work really well. This spot here for the shoes I made myself. I uh, just took a couple hours. I think it was about 20 bucks for material maybe. So these cabinets were the most expensive thing I had to buy for this garage. It took me a while to decide what I wanted. Um, a lot of them are different construction, different metal thickness. But I ended up with these ones and I've had them about a year now, so I'm really happy with them. They're a modular set, so you can kind of decide on what you want. If you want the toolbox portions or you want the cabinet lowers. Uh, and then you can add as many as you want in a row, and then you just pick the top. I went with the bamboo over the stainless, I just think it's a better look, a little warmer. Uh, I think the stainless would get wrecked pretty quick. He's got nice ball bearing drawers. You see they come with the organizer inserts, so you can kind of set them up however you want. Uh, I also bought some foam, layered foam, and did some cutouts for some stuff. Uh, just a little eccentric, so I like stuff to know where it is. And, Nice and organized. See, this drawer is good for all your kind of odds and ends, but yeah, it comes with all those organizers and you can change how you want them. This is a three foot cabinet. It takes up a lot of room, but it's got some good storage in it. Uh, you can fit a 24 inch table saw in there and I got my miter saw on the bottom, uh, some motorcycle gear, so it's good for, good for the large stuff. Decided to go with the pegboard versus the slat wall. I had the slat wall before and the pegboard just gives you a little more options. You can fit stuff together closer and it's a lot cheaper. Um, you can see also I got some of the lights, same lights I got from the ceiling. So I just added those underneath there and put it on a smart switch. Overall really happy with the decision for these. This is my most recent addition. I just finished up last week. Unfortunately with the winters here, they're really wet. Uh, so I don't get opportunity to ride or drive very often. Uh, so I need a spot to kind of plug in my, my bike and my car just to keep the batteries charged. The two battery tenders cost me about 130 bucks and the materials to do the electrical outlet from the ceiling was about 45 bucks. So this whole space combined is right around the 200 square foot mark. Taking that into consideration, I think I did pretty well with the space. The only thing I would really like to do in the future is some flooring. But that's another big cost and I've got lots of other jobs to do around the house before I do that. So all in all, I'm about the $3,100 mark, give or take a bit. Lots of little extra things that I probably forgot about. But that's it. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one.